scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Rewards of humility. We're about to pray. Please sit down and write this down. Rewards of humility. Hmm. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 4. Please never forget this scripture. Can we read it together? Proverbs 22 and verse 4. Are you ready? One to read. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. One more time. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and and honor are you seeing that riches is not the same as honor you can have riches and not have honor you can have riches and honor and not have life there is a relationship between untimely death and pride there is a relationship between humility and longevity james chapter 4 from verse 6 then we go to verse 10 James 4 but he giveth more grace one of the blessings there wherefore he saith, God resisted the proud but giveth grace unto the humble please go to verse 10 humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord koinonia and he shall lift you up that's where the secret is koinonia humble yourself in the sight of the lord and he shall lift you up apostle joshua selman humble yourself in the sight of the lord and he shall lift you up man of god businessman politician whoever and wherever humble yourself in the sight of the lord and there is a reward for it he will lift you so when you see a people who you never see their end they have mastered this ladder this lift called humility what is humility it is not denying what God has done in your life Clearly, vocally publicly intentionally continually as the basis that when it's all said and done more than your intellect more than your business the doer of every good thing that's humility so you can stand before your estates you can stand before all of your credentials and all, all of that you can stand before the prosperity the bank accounts carrying the billions world over wonderful they are only profitable when you stand and say lord it is not unto these things but unto you i lift my hands and i lift my voice and i will let the world know that it is because of you that these things are before me we are not ashamed to tell the world today world over that Jesus is the reason for what we call koinonia today Joshua Selman is nothing without him koinonia is nothing without him it's one thing to have the ability to preach and teach and heal and minister but it's another thing for God to draw people from world over to come and listen and to submit to the grace of God committed to you man of god never get to a point in your life where you become too big to acknowledge jesus 
thank God for all of these little things here and there the security that help for I, I tell you I have a confession you ask the protocol department and the security people this is my fight with them they are doing their job professionally but if it's up to me I went at this place you will not know if I have a way of just entering there to carry my Bible once it's time I just appear here and preach and disappear I will do it with joy it's just that there are some levels in life no matter what happens there's nothing you can do about it I know that while some of you watch all these things some of you are admiring it and that's what drives you be careful God is warning you now God is warning you now God is warning you now you are laughing but God is serious God is warning you now read yourself from all of these lusts you will be celebrated for sure nations will call you blessed for sure but let them be the one to clap while you point them to Jesus forever Jesus will remain glorified in my life glorified in this ministry and glorified in your life also that when men look at you and say from whence come this lifting others are saying there is a casting down what is happening to your business that you are rising in leaps and bounds I just hear you open a new office you don't just laugh and say well say it again no don't say they know tell them you are the doer Jesus I acknowledge you and they say please leave those spiritual things what did you do I tell them no 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 I will not leave it this is how it happened I don't know how it happened for others what is the secret to this your peace your children are well behaved everybody's respectful one says because they know me go and ask them how disciplined their father and their mother are no. No. am I wasting your time can I tell you this you've heard me say it when I had this encounter with the Lord where he taught me the lifting power of humility this was what the Lord told me son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you this is what God told me ah for men to see you that's that's fine John chapter 3 and verse 30 must be the lesson that everybody takes home today as far as humility is concerned he must increase but i must decrease decrease does not mean diminish decrease does not mean go back no that you exalt him how do you know you are humble when men look at you they remember jesus not you when men look at you they know they see all the miracles they see the signs and the wonders they see God lifting you and all they can say is Lord you are a wonder when men look at you and it's only your praises they sing something is wrong with your approach for everything God has done in this life for everything God has done in this ministry truly to him be the glory to him be the glory to him be the honor no man on earth should give glory to himself all the glory listen let me show you what humility does you stand here Lord you are the lifter of my heart I give you all the praise and God says you have done this at this level you don't have a car you don't have a bike you are not doing anything and you are acknowledging me let's go higher you don't know that the, the ultimate goal is to take you there once you are here people say my God you are already at this level and the Holy Spirit to say remember what you did when you were here do it again he's giving and pride will say I'm comfortable I mean now you can see me and some people remain here forever till they find out they're already down here again but some other people stand here and while people are looking at you you are even you are distracted you are not distracted by what they are doing they call you all kinds of name daddy apostle whatever thank God for those things but your attention is with Jesus are you ready for this 
he lifts you to the next level you became a governor you became a senator you became a man of god now he trusted you one branch two branch two branches three branches he now helped you and you say lord even at this point may the nation see you through my life and men look at you and say be honest jerry enjoy this thing enjoy this moment and sometimes you can be distracted and then he calls you back i have other people who need to rise if you want to make this space vacant i will fight you to make it vacant and lift others and you say no i remember how you brought me and he will still find you in the night rolling and he says you are ready he will move you to another one when he moves you you will not be alone you'll find other people that he moved there too they will now start distracting you let's focus on laughing at those who are down and you tell them i don't know how you got here but me i know how god brought me here and i will not be distracted many times when you are up here it looks like there are other people below you let's gossip let's mock let's push them let's fight anybody who wants to come down there are people who will remain here for 30 years until they start going down by the time they are 50 they are back here you say i thought i used to know you here they say condition is a lie the part of the just is as a shining light when your tomorrow becomes greater becomes worse than your yesterday it is pride a man's tomorrow should not be like this no you know people who are walking in humility because you never see them at the last level you saw them you are right here at this point people are already calling you things papa if you are in ministry you are mentoring people everybody they are just blessing you inviting you around the whole world you are in hotels you are having all kinds of cars jeeps you are enjoying everything zero and then one night if god wants to help you he will call you and say my son I'm still waiting for you where we used to meet before don't distract me oh God the spotlight is on me this was what I looked for growing up this was what I wanted people said I will not make it now that I've made it let me stand so that I can savor the moment and he says my son we still have other heights to climb don't stop here but there are others may you be part of them tonight in my life be glorified be glorified in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you while you are busy singing this song and living this song with your life men will open their eyes and find you here you are standing with kings and nations and they say we used to know him ah uh -uh. humility has a lifting power it will shift your background shift your gender shift what men said they can say while you rise they can talk while you are lifted i tell you this the end of a man who is truly humble cannot be predicted by any mortal man on earth there is no prophet there is no apostle whose eye can see as far as a man with humility can go only God can tell the end of a humble man just when you think he has attained that God now lifts him again to another season hear me we're about to pray the Lord brought you to church tonight to show you that there is a secret men do not just rise god is the lifter of men are you ready to pray let me give you one key you have to write this down one key what is the key to humility 
the key to humility is found in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 please our global family the body of Christ as many who will follow this do not forget there are eight words that I want you to remember for the rest of your life as the key to humility the a part but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember not just the Lord thy God hear me one of the greatest keys to humility is remembrance remember where God took you from and remember who took you if you can remember where God took you from and you can remember who took you you have mastered the key to beating life at its game believe me when David stood before Goliath Goliath said am I a dog that you are coming to me with this sling he said God who delivered me I remember success has a way of eroding your memory that's why there are certain pains and certain things that you are around you is looking for favor and you can never hear people who tell you the truth again times will come you will have to be your own counselor let yesterday be your counselor remember how God lifted you man of God remember once upon a time you had no church no reputation politician remember once upon a time you trekked without shoes every time men forget they stop moving forward remember 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 this is what I do all the time let me speak to someone here keep the memory of your pain now you will need it tomorrow don't waste your pain your pain is a miracle the scar listen the injury on your hand today is what will keep you when you sit on the throne till today Jesus still has the scar the scar reminds him of his love for man again every time you see that scar you remember every time God did wondrous things to the nation of Israel listen to me he gave them instructions he says find a way of archiving this if your children ask you and say why are you doing this tell them oh Israel you forgot too soon that for 430 years you were in the land of slavery now you began to build idols one of the ways that God brings men to humility when they forget him is to lift his hand and you will see what the devil does in your life every time people were proud he gave them over to their enemies it's in your Bible Africa could this be why we are going through what we are going through Nigeria could this be why we are going through if my people who are called by my name what's the first thing they do not pray not pray we have been praying we have been praying humble themselves it is not because the arm of the Lord is too short man of God it does not take God anything to expand your ministry it does not take anything for the anointing you desire if it's prosperity I dare to tell you there are enough destiny helpers enough ideas enough systems and structures for God to lift you read your Bible and see the lifting power of God when you become at the center stage of your life forget about the hand of God I remember remember your goodness I remember, remember your love. I remember, remember your faithfulness. I remember, remember your grace. I remember a time in my life when I was going to preach. No bike, no nothing, it was raining. I remember trekking in the rain while the rain was pouring on me I was praying in tongues and going for the meeting and look what he's done today and then you forget keep that memory that's what God will use to remind you oh billionaire remember that one time 
you were soaking Gary and you drink and say to thine to the Lord be all the glory but today you have chains of restaurants around the world oh let it never enter your heart oh God anything you give me let it stay outside me sit in your position alone jealously guarded by my passion for you don't think I wasted your time tonight I gave you the key to the next level some of you as a company you need to do this go back to God tomorrow when you go to work tell the people to excuse you a bit lock that door and kneel down and say father you may even need to pray your local dialect maybe it will give you room to express it more and say God of heaven you are the one who has shown me mercy forgive me if for any reason I joined an association of unwise people and I started forgetting you in the name of celebrating success be careful with some of these groups and associations they, are, they may not be wrong but we must be careful because some of them mislead us into feeling embarrassed that is the Lord once upon a time you could not afford a good shoe but now you can even buy the whole boutique oh please do not forget thou shall remember remember yesterday and remember the Lord remember yesterday and remember the Lord take this message and give anybody you know and you love sincerely use it to train your children if God has blessed you and you are a blessed man with substance sit your children down don't just show them the money tell them the stories tell them young boys you have the privilege to eat anything you eat today and travel around the world but it was not always like that I came from a family where we had to use well to use well to draw water out God began to help me if the only thing I give you people is money I've destroyed you this is a mistake and I say it finally before we pray most leaders in Africa and Nigeria are making this mistake we are not giving those who look up to us the stories we are only giving them the rewards so a young man now does not know that ministry needs stamina and endurance and pain why because he just came and received impartation received maybe three or five cars and had his mentor or spiritual father come and stand as a leverage to speak for him an increase is coming and he can look and be laughing at people and say shame on you five years no membership because of that leverage pain is a gift make sure you give those you really love don't inflict pain on them the testimony of your pain i mean share it with them let them know that once upon a time you fasted and prayed that this anointing did not just drop because you read your bible and tell them the privilege you now enjoy do not abuse it carelessness comes when process is not known when people ignore process the result is carelessness I'm going to give us two three minutes I don't know how you are going to cry before God I will do my own here the next two three minutes you are just going to say Lord if ever my heart is lifted forgive me show me mercy tonight and grant me grace pray you don't have to kneel down or lie down just cry before your maker please no movement around this is a serious moment go ahead and pray I am empty handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever I'm changed by your love 
just remember in one minute remember where his majesty took you from their man of god their apostle and their prophet their pastor and their evangelist their politician their academician their millionaire their billionaire their elder statesman their father their parent remember where he took you from their student their great man thank you jesus oh thank you jesus thank you jesus for your mercy for your goodness thank you if you have to cry cry if you have to sing sing just a minute or two and we're done let him know that i am still your boy oh god I'm still the one you lifted. I'm still the one you helped. I'm still the one you blessed. I'm here to say how much I love you. I'm here to say how much i adore you lord i'm not here to complain about my many struggles by your spirit and your grace i'm confident you solve them but i'm here to say i love you I'm here to say I adore you. I'm here to say I love you. I love you. Lord, as men look at our lives, may they see you. As men look at our lives, oh, may they see you. It is easy to see the glamour. It is easy to see the anointing. It is easy to see the spirituality and the results. It is easy to see the achievements. But Lord, tonight, we declare... That we love you. We're wrapping up. And with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love in our King. Oh, we just tell them we love King. Now I can pray for you. You don't have to kneel, please just stand. Now I can pray for this grace that brings exaltation. I have seen it, I know it works believe me there is a grace that lifts there is a grace that grants you access to kings to systems to structures there is a grace that enthrones beyond your wildest imagination many of us here have been lifted we have tasted of honor and glory we have seen the help of god but i submit to you that at any level there is still more there is still more there is still more lord may we never forget may the nation see that you are the lifter the blesser the anointer the one who prospers 
may the mundane things in this life never get into us to turn our hearts and our minds away from you may we be ever conscious and now i pray for everyone here under the sound of my voice i pray for our global family i pray for you who is a man of god who has been trusting god for lifting i pray for you who is a businessman who is at a defining moment you've been praying for lifting i pray for politicians members of parliament those in government those in ministry those trusting god to lift even financially there is grace i have seen this grace work i have seen it work wonders and therefore in the name of jesus christ as instructed by god i stretch my hands over everyone here the grace that lifts the grace that exalts even through humility may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now hear me for some of you this is the beginning of the fulfillment of prophecy all the things you saw in your dreams god was waiting for you to hear this sermon before the angels are activated because where god is taking you you need this message to remain therefore i declare now that you have heard it i call upon my god and your god father in a fearful way begin to lift people from tonight spiritual liftings financial liftings intellectual liftings ministerial liftings in the name of jesus christ access to systems access to the hearts of kings may that grace come upon you now never will you call for help and be left alone again in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone who is due for promotion of all sorts and has been kept by reason of any kapatos calibra gato shegete brendeke palakusia in the name that is above all names may this grace come upon you and lift you to a sign and a wonder those in ministry co-laborers in the gospel i stand in agreement with you that in the name of jesus everything that has taunted the growth of your churches your ministries your ministerial platforms by the power that raised christ from the dead receive this grace and rise some of us have been at the same level for a long time you've not gone down but you've not gone up either i pray for you by this grace ye have encompassed this mountain long enough rise up now in the name of jesus hear me any spirit that has taken advantage of pride in your life to keep you down help that gentleman any spirit that has cooperated with your ignorance in this area some of you may have been arrogant based on this psychological thing it's just your passion to prove a point your passion to be known and to be celebrated any spirit that has taken advantage of you by the blood of the eternal covenant i cast those spirits out of your life out of your destiny out of your destiny in the name of jesus christ therefore i declare over your life no more stagnation age-long doors that have refused to open in the name of jesus we swing them open now hear me whatever has stunted your office your business the works of your hands every manifestation of pride that has come through you directly or indirectly or has come from your children and even those you are raising spiritually or otherwise i pray may the mercy of god speak for you grace to walk in true humility receive that grace grace to acknowledge jesus as the source and the only source of your rising may that grace be released upon you hear me any association in your life that seeks to distract you 
from acknowledging Jesus and anything that is planted in your heart that makes you ashamed of letting the nations know that he is a lifter I command it out of your heart now but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember the one who lifted the one who blessed that grace comes upon you now yeah. hear me some of you it will not reach the next one week you will return back with strange testimonies of God's opening I say this to you by the God of heaven some of you before next Sunday you will stand here to share, share some testimonies of the lifting power of humility by this grace doors that were once open and are now closed may they be reopened again in the name of Jesus please wave your hands and give him praise thank you father let the name of the Lord be glorified wave your hands give him praise in the name of Jesus Christ just a moment let me make the altar call please keep standing everyone let's honor those who are coming now you are in this place the greatest proof of pride is to refuse to acknowledge God alongside that refusal to pray is pride because it's proof that you do not need the assistance of heaven refusal to study the word wherever you are you are in this auditorium around the balcony or outside i want you to run right now and come and stand before me we have just one minute for you god bless you as you come run leave your seat and come don't let the devil deceive you and say i don't want people to see me come to jesus koinonia are you celebrating salvation don't let anybody stop you where you are leave them and come come to jesus come to jesus come come young and old alike come those who are following online following from whatever tv station following from any nation i'd like you to be prepared right now open your heart before jesus christ and pray this prayer as we lead these people our family here in prayer make sure you connect pray and those who will be watching this later on when you get to this part of the video the recording make sure you join to pray please come join them we have one more minute apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not run and join them so you can be sure tonight i love the things of god but i'm not sure if i'm saved join them join them please if you're coming rush quickly quickly we're out of time come come as you are the maker is about to make you the lifter is about to lift you koinonia can you celebrate them <laughs> hallelujah please you are joining them come very quickly now look at me i salute sincerely every one of you who has come here you have come before jesus himself the mediator of the new covenant some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears he is able to give you a new beginning this is a family that loves you passionately and no man condemns you he's able to give you a new beginning lift your right hand high to the heavens allow the tears to come don't be ashamed young and old i honor you for the courage to come the business of jesus is a personal thing it's not just a corporate thing it first starts as a personal decision just help those under the anointing help them please i want you to say this after me but i want you to mean it jesus is here and he's ready to receive you and to give you a new beginning every one of us had to make this decision and i'm telling you that the bible says whosoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away say after me let it be loud and clear from your heart you are saying it before jesus christ your maker lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i humble myself before you i ask you for mercy for cleansing i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me 
you rose again for my justification tonight i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from today i am born again i am a child of god i walk in victory amen keep your hands lifted father thank you thank you we remain ever grateful for the work of salvation just help those under the anointing father we present to you these ones that jesus has brought to himself it's an honor to stand to midwife this eternal process lord i pray according to the authority of scripture that their sins are forgiven and that they begin a new journey with jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that you rise from glory to glory hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you